had a subscriber not that long ago put in the comments, hey, when are you coming up with something for the lasers? And I've got a day off work today, so here it is. Uh, here's my Peli case where I keep them all. Under lock and key, of course. Responsible ownership is way forward. And what I've got in the top here, a couple of little lasers, a couple of batteries, uh, my 520 direct diode, 300 milliwatt, which sits in a little box here, because I haven't cut the foam out yet. And then I've got a couple of layers, and then I've got all the good stuff, the fun things. Now, there's a few 501s in there, there's a couple of other bits, there's an Aurora SHO32, there's a Dragon Laser, Spartan 1.6, and then that big silver thing, which looks like a lightsaber at the top, that's what we're focusing on today. That is a 7 watt Arcane 2 Custom. Just using a quick demonstration here of a couple of tripods and clamps, and that's a CD tray, bulk standard compact disc one. Uh, the iPro I'm wearing today, uh, 180 to 532nm OD7 pair. These are made by Aces Lasers. They are great. I uh, had them shipped over from, I think it was Texas. I think that's where they are based. They are a really good company to deal with for parts and other goodies. I can't stress if you're new to the hobby, get yourself a decent pair of glasses for a reputable make before you buy a laser. Don't even think about it. Anything above 5 milliwatts, definitely you want safety wear. And when you're dealing with 7,000 milliwatts, you need glasses, okay? And you must be completely sure that they're of the correct wavelength. 100% we'll be using a backstop here. So, goodbye CD case. Uh, straight for a... Not really, uh, not really focused or collimated properly, but as you can tell, just put a hole straight for it, and it wasn't really any contest. <laughs> There's not really anything you can say or do with this other than you know, it just puts a smile on your face. I mean, it really is one of those lasers that you've got to enjoy. It's a really fun bit of kit. Instantly put a smile on your face. I'm not sure if the guy who builds them is even in business anymore. He's had a bit of a kerfuffle inside the lasering community. We've all decided one thing or another about the guy, but whether or not he still trades remains to be seen, so this may be a classic laser, really lovely host that we'll never see again, which is a bit of a shame, but hey ho, it's the way the cookie crumbles.